good morning and welcome to this week or a couple days of my life vlog i'm anna may if you're new um if you're not sorry i've been gone for a while also my room is incredibly messy behind me and i'm trying to block it um so hi i have been gone for a while because of lots of different things that maybe we'll get into at a different point but in short I was home during the summer here in Ireland, where I am now. Pretty short notice, I end up getting a job and moving to New York for four months. And then I came back and now I'm here. So um, I got home just before Christmas. Right now I'm looking for another job. Um, probably not in Ireland, but also not in New York. Um, if you're wondering, I think sometimes Americans are curious why I don't stay in New York. Um, I don't have a visa, so I, I can't. So I've been doing a lot of job applications and interviewing and that kind of thing. But also I've been working on my Etsy shop quite a bit, which is MK Needlepoint. Um, I design needlepoint canvas and I paint them myself, which is very time consuming. But it kind of has been working out, I guess, for me. Uh, it was always going well when it was going, but because I couldn't run it whenever I left here, it's been like slower. But anyways, we have a bit of a situation. I'm gonna put you up here. Is the lighting okay? Okay, so I have a bit of a situation right now. Also, please ignore all mess you can see. Look at that needlepoint desk, awful. I need to register my business, like officially. I've been selling on Etsy. It's been a small kind of thing, but now things are accelerating and I don't know what to do because I don't have a background in business like at all, at all. I didn't study anything. I did business for the junior cert. So I stopped doing business when I was like 16. And I think I got like a C, okay? So I have no idea what to do. Um, I've looked up how to register a business. The website looks from, it's like, like it's from 2006. So, so we're gonna figure out this week. Um, I need to maybe try and register a business. I think I said this because I am actually getting like requests for shops to stock my stuff and I've never done wholesale before. Um, and it's kind of a complicated thing in the needlepoint industry. Um, but we won't get into that. Like people who sell direct to customers and people who only stock wholesale in needlepoint shops. I have a lot of opinions on that that's a conversation for another day. Uh, in short, not everyone has the capacity to just go wholesale, like just decide on, a, like, I'm just gonna become a needlepoint designer. For a lot of people it's gradual um, and doing direct to customers is often the best way to do it. Also, some of us live in countries other than the United States, so there's that. Moving on, I need to paint a lot of canvases uh, a particular design that was out of stock and i'm gonna paint like a lot of them um so i'm gonna do that but that's gonna be time consuming um i got a lot of job applications done a couple days ago so i think i'm kind of taking a minute on that and yeah i just need to do generally a lot of cleaning and stuff like that but i'm just kind of freaking out because i need to like become a business girly i need to register my business and figure out like the tax situation and then if these companies like these businesses want to like these shops want to order from me i need to like figure out how to export and i do have tariff numbers because i do use them i want to go eat lunch and i'm an adult and i can do what i want so i'm gonna go eat lunch now a brief update. I have made a new no. I've made a new email for my needlepoint business because I just hate so I hate having multiple emails. I feel like most people are like that. You can now if you have any business inquiries mkneedlepoint at gmail.com um, I also ate lunch um, and now it's so nice out um, so I went for a walk but I'm still really sore from a workout two days ago 
Um, so I went for a walk yesterday, but um, I think I'm going to well, like tidy my room right now because I'll be able to like open the windows and everything because it's really not that cold out um, and just like get some air in um, and I just need to kind of basically get my shit together um, because I need to stitch my own samples for needlepoint stuff and this isn't all going to be needlepoint it's just taking up a lot of my mental space today um i need to like organize my thread stash my stash in general i have a desk upstairs but it's like kind of trashed at the minute like i'm the one who trashed it make no mistake i am a tornado of a human Everywhere I go, I will destroy. I will also then tidy it up, but I will destroy everything in the process. So I need to do that. And then I am probably going to um, either like this afternoon or this evening when I'm like watching TV, start to mark out some of the Clara canvases. Um, I don't know what the shop that is wanting to order for me, what they're gonna want to order. Um, I can make a guess that it's probably one of my travel rounds, uh, which funny enough are actually not one of my favorite canvases. I kind of made them because um, I have two. I actually can't remember if I've ever released the Singapore one. My bad. Uh, but the Ireland one, I did it basically because there were a lot of, there are a lot of like Irish themed canvases on the market. Um, but in my opinion, they're very, so they obviously they're designed by Irish Americans a lot of the time. Um, and so it's different. Irish American is different to Irish. So I decided I'd like, there's certain things that are like banned from my Irish themed canvases. So things like leprechauns, banned. Pots of gold, banned. Rainbows, no. Four leaf clovers, Absolutely not. There's a lot of things like that. I also don't put pints of Guinness on things typically. So, um, no hate to Guinness, but it's another, it's actually a brand, so I don't want to, you know? So, that's a little rant. Um, so that's why I designed my travel around, which I do like, obviously, because I spent a lot of time on it, but it's just like not my favorite. Think it doesn't feel is I guess it's like not the most like creative or it doesn't have the most of me in it. Does that make sense? Anyways, I'm gonna go and tidy. At some point this week I'm thinking I'm gonna film a video of like everything I've stitched needlepoint. Maybe I'll include cross stitch. I'll do needlepoint and cross stitch um that I have like in my collection since I really started stitching like as an adult I did when I was a kid but um and do a video on my entire collection because I think that would be interesting um so I'll probably be filming that at some point but for now I need to get my shit together so don't mind all the mess but I'm way too hot in this because I'm wearing uh this and a jumper also I have little Uggs on but I got an order in from ASOS this morning, uh, stuff that I ordered a couple of days ago. And I'm gonna try on a jacket. I really hope it looks good, because it's so nice. Look at this. Look at this. So it's definitely more of a spring jacket. Um, it's from, is it Bolongaro? Is that how you say it, Trevor? It was majorly reduced. Um, it was still kind of pricey. Um, I think I paid like 60 euro for it, um, but originally it was like 200, over 200. Um, which I definitely wouldn't, no offense to anyone who did pay f that much for this, but I wouldn't. But let's see how it looks. Ah, it's so cute. Okay, I love it. I actually am really glad I got this size. I think I got the medium or i can't remember i wouldn't i don't think i'd wear it like with this turtleneck or whatever but um actually yeah i might now that i see myself in the mirror it's very cute 
Um, I got the, I think it said it was like UK 10, 12-ish size, or else the other one was a 14. Um, and I'm definitely like a 12. So, but it, it fits really well. Now I am very short, so that probably helps with the length. But also stuff catches me around the bust a lot. But this doesn't at all. But it's so cute. I cannot wait to wear this. I am officially submitting the paperwork to register the name AMK Needlepoint. I should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't because I've been through this already, probably even in this video. But here I am sitting on the floor with the Hello, Bitty, Hello Kitty USB and we are uploading the documents necessary, which really isn't that much. I think it's going to be 20 euro, which is, Fine, in the scale of things. Oh my gosh, so much. Yeah, 20 euro. That's nice. It's it's weird. It feels, I think I've been trying to not commit all this time. Even though it was very much something I wanted to do, I feel like I was avoiding commitment to it. Not to the name or anything either. I did consider changing the name, but to what, I don't know. Um. So, I keep it simple, like just use my initials. But it's really, it feels very permanent, you know? And it's not a bad thing. But yeah. I mean, they definitely could, they definitely could reject this application. That's actually, that is actually something I know is a possibility. Um, so, I'm gonna pay my 20 euro. I feel like I'm afraid to say things because they might be like incriminating. Pay what I received, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to say things being like, should I do this? Because I, as I've said, I have like no clue. So I don't want to say things that could be potentially incriminating. I've tried to be pretty like above board with everything thus far, but now, Things are kind of spiraling. So yeah, that's kind of exciting. Um, it is exciting, actually. Obviously significantly later, as I am in pajamas in my bed. I don't think I've picked up the camera since I had my little registering a business name rant, but uh, it seemed to have all that paperwork filed now. There were a couple things I needed to do, so did that. And then I just made dinner and like spent the evening with some home renovation show on in the background and trying to outline some canvases and scrolling on TikTok. It really wasn't, wasn't that productive, but I did remember that I was supposed to ship an order today um, and I forgot to, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. I was gonna be like, good morning, but I don't know how I feel about this, layered under this, but I think it's too late to change. Good morning. Um, I just got done packing an order, um, which I needed to ship. I need to ship today, but I am, um, I gotta say, one thing I don't like about this sunscreen is the dropper situation. Like, if the dropper doesn't hold much, like, and you need quite a bit of sunscreen. Um, anyways, I'm going for lunch with my mom's friend, slash her neighbor, slash my best friend's mom, all the things. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of rushing to, well not really rushing, but yeah, to get ready. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup um, and I'm gonna ship that order. I just had to fix some issues with the printer this morning, the glamour, um, but everything is, ready to go now and i will do those errands then in town um because my friend's mom is gonna pick me up so i actually don't have to walk into town but i'll walk home which is fine um and that is what we're doing this morning um i'm just gonna ship that so then i don't have anything left currently no like open orders oh i did get an email back saying that like the company's business name is officially registered to me. So woohoo, we're, we're registered, yay.
it's a couple hours later. <laughs> I'm back from down now from shipping the order. It really wasn't that exciting. Also, I wasn't gonna film, I was having lunch with my uh, best friend's mom and it, when I raise my arms, this collar looks weird. I don't really like this outfit. Um, but yeah, and I forgot my camera, so. What can you do? Um, I have a couple things I need to do now that I just like don't really want to do. I'm gonna do a wash and I think that will be helpful, but I'm also probably going to call my mom and rant about something. So it'll be good, it'll be entertaining. Sorry for the background noise, I'm doing a bit of washing. I'm trying to get, oh cool, do I want to take the tags off these already? Yes. Um, look how cute these towels are. Adorable. So they like kind of match, but they also, but they're, they're not like matching in the same way. Um, but they're from Cap Kitson. Nice, huh? They were 50% off. I spotted them the other day. Um, I'm currently trying to get green acrylic paint out of my Patagonia Better Sweater Vest. It's probably not gonna come out, but at least trying to fade it a bit and washing sheets, etc. But let's see if we're making any progress. Ooh, we look bad on some fire blanket. That's wobbly, isn't it? I mean, you can still see it. Yeah. Oh, it's rinsing. <laughs> um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I think I'm just gonna have to run this through regular wash now because I put the stain remover and stuff on it but yeah no it's very much still there you can't I'm not sure how well you can see it oh yeah there you go it's there I mean it's acrylic paint it's waterproof and whatever um and it's in a weird spot so it's not like I can really embroider over it or something I guess I could but I think I'm probably just gonna leave it be um and just throw it in the wash the rest of this stuff I think I'm going to do some outlining of canvases. And I also need to reply to an email from like my dad's distant cousin. As someone who has like a very expansive family, I'm related to like a lot of people. Um, so distant relatives are not like I'm not like, oh my god, we're family. Like, it's no, it's it's no issue to, with them, you know? They're obviously lovely people. But it is interesting because I think to an Irish person, we wouldn't really, people with, not Irish person, but with families this size, it's not like, we don't really see that as like family in the same way, if that makes sense. Um, because I mean, I have, on one side I have like 17 first cousins, something like that. Um, and I'm on the very younger end of it. So most of my cousins are married and have children. So that obviously, so then I have like the like cousin-in-laws and then all of their kids. And I think there's like close to 30 of them now, like of the, the next generation that's on one side. So... It's a lot of people, um, yeah, and that's just like from my grandparents on that side. So anyways, I better reply to that email while that wash is done before it plays its little song. We have one of those that plays a cute little song and then I think I'm going to work out later, um, which I had always planned on doing but now it feels weird. Um, I didn't really say it before, but I think I was like, you know, when you meet people and it's like frustrating. Someone was, and I, it was before I called my mom to ask her, um, someone just like made a remark to me in town. Someone like she barely knows uh, about me being a fine big girl. And I was like, I'm 26, yeah. Um, but then I was like, what did she mean by that? So when I called, and I know what this person's kind of like. So when I said it to my mom, I was like, was she talking about like my body? And she was like, yes, she was. So my mom's big mad. So 
watch out. Um, but yeah, maybe keep your stupid opinions to yourself. It, it, you know what, it's just like such a weird thing to say and I think my face was probably like, <laughs> when she said it, because I was like, sorry, what? Um, but yeah, I love being at home. I love it here so much. I'm gonna send an email, do my business girly thing, because I guess that's what I'm doing now, and um, book a train ticket for tomorrow. Good morning, it's Wednesday now. Um, I didn't do anything last night except for like outline more canvases, but I'm getting ready to go to Galway, but I just got these, they arrived, I bought them only a couple days ago. Um, I am so excited about these shoes. They're perfect. They're obviously, I don't know if you can really tell the color, they're like an oxblood color. Um, they are from Vagabond. I have a pair of Vagabond shoes um, that I got like over a year ago. Um, but they're like more dressy work shoes, but I love the brand. I will say, I do not have big feet, <laughs> but these definitely, I feel like they definitely make my feet look bigger but they look really cute, so. There you go. Boom. So cute, I love them. Um, I think they'll, obviously not with these kind of socks or these jeans. I'm wearing Converse with this today, but. Very cute, I was very excited about these. I wanted to get them for quite a while. I bought a similar, well, what I thought would be a similar pair um, when I was in New York and they were the worst. Um, they basically fall, like fell apart in a couple of weeks um and they looked like slippers they were so ugly but those ones are they're gonna last a long time uh unlike the other ones so i'm just gonna do my makeup and then cook a little breakfast slash lunch and walk to the bus station because i'm taking the bus not the train I am back from Galway. I forgot my camera. Um, but I took some clips on my phone. It was nothing too crazy. We went to the bus it was disgusting. Um it just smelled really, really bad. I did a little bit of needle pointing though, so it's okay. Um, and the views are nice, so then I just met up with my mum, my brother, and we walked around the shops for a bit. And then we had lunch. And then we came home. And we got stuck in traffic because it's Galway. And it's famous for traffic. Um, so, you know when you're coming back and you've been like on the go all day. And you've been like out and about. And it's kind of gross outside. And you just grim. You come back to the house and it's dark. And it's just grim. So that's how I feel right now. But I am going to just shower, get into comfy clothes, and do some outlining of canvases. Sorry for a boring vlog, but my life is kind of boring right now, so follow me on TikTok. I think it's just at anime, or at anime by design, which is the same as my Instagram, and amkneedlepoint on Instagram, and Etsy. That's it. <laughs>